certain places like Reddit. Um, and it was there that I kind of got more introduced to the trans community. And from there, like, I don't know, shortly after college, I had gotten married. And... But yeah, you see what I'm saying? She had to find out the trans, the trans, she had to find the trans community and it was like a culture shock. You know what I'm saying? But why? Because she never was introduced to feminine men before. You get what I'm saying? She didn't understand that it even existed because our society teaches us not to do that shit. That's just facts. But why is it so easy and simple to actually do that shit when it, when it comes to it? Because it's a feeling. It's called expression. You see what I'm saying? See, the question I had last night, I was pondering for a while, was like, okay, was she like intrigued? Because a lot of people obviously are intrigued by this information, but was she like gravitated towards it? She resonated with it. Was she like, I want that to be me? So, what was the feeling? Obviously, when she wanted to be her, obviously, it's transition. But she can't even say that because in her mind, when she saw it, she thinking, I'm a man, I would never like do that shit. But then, but she didn't even fathom that was a reality. So now she has a reality. She knows like men can have these feelings and they can take it this far. And so she was like probably thinking like maybe I have feelings like that. And then start feeling those feelings. Go ahead. At that point, like I don't know. I I don't know if I thought it was a fetish or what, but I don't know. And then after um I had See she thought it was a fetish. She was like, why, what? I thought like what the fuck is she my fetish? Like where'd that come from? And I realized, you know what I'm saying, because she probably was like on some sissy shit. Because, she, you know, the way she's taught is to be a man and that women are like this and you need to treat women like this. And so that's the fucking, you know, A2 I was talking about. Situation where it was A1 is dormant. And then when you have, when it's activated, that's when it's always there. It's just dormant. And what is always there? Femininity. It's always there, period. Like you can act feminine, you don't have to act feminine. You know what I'm saying? Period. So with that being said, the fact that she was a, became aware that men can act feminine, she was she was attracted to that. She wanted to be with that. But because she was in this dormant stage, it was this cognitive dissonance where it's like, that's not me. She didn't associate with it, the femininity. And so the only way she did associate with femininity was through the typical, you know, hyper-masculine mentality. And I wouldn't say typical. I wouldn't even say typical. They really don't go that far. Really what it is, is that the fact that you act hyper, you hypersexualize femininity and become a little sissy because it feeds the male ego. And you need to return back to the male, the male ego because that's what's observing, you know what I'm saying, the femininity. And that male ego is what you were, your found, is your foundation. And so you haven't let go of that. And so the more you transition into a female, you know what I'm saying, in these different steps, it's like you actually become uh, more detached to masculinity. Now, you know what I'm saying? So now you know on the spectrum, it's vice versa. Something's happening with women and shit. The more you become more masculine, the more you, you disassociate dis 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 from femininity. And so that's the reason why I think a lot of people go through the sissy phase, you know what I'm saying? Because that's the way they associate with, with, with you know, masculinity and femininity. You know, coming from the masculine side. And so that's the reason why I think that's what that is, you know? And I think that's what she says she don't know because it's like, it's a blur because it's happening so fast in the mind. Like, you're going back and forth, back and forth. Like, I'm a man. You know what I'm saying? But, oh, I also but I also feel like, I feel like a woman, though. But, no, it's because I only feel like a woman because I'm a man. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like, but it's like, but, like, they don't change these feelings, though. So, it's like constantly, so, basically, you ask yourself, like, why am I like this? And that's when I get, I think that's when that question comes into play is when you take it to the Crosschester stage where it's like, you know, now you're a, a B1 where you've accepted it. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is what you do, at least enough to cultivate it. You know what I'm saying? Separated from my partner. See? I had realized that... Because that separation from her partner, which I'm probably thinking is a female, you know what I'm saying? Gave her that male ego that she was raised to be. But in her adventures to try to find... Fem to find, to find and finding, you know, femininity, 
that gave her more something to be like, okay, wait a minute, you know? I don't know, not many cisgendered people would spend that much time looking at transition photos. See, I used to think that same way too, but that's what that's what confused me. But like, how can you sit there and say most cisgender people will not do that shit? That doesn't make you trans. That you know what I'm saying? That you're doing that shit. You know what I'm saying? That makes no sense because you were cis, weren't you? Were you not? So how did you end up transitioning? You know, how did you end up basically becoming trans if you were a cis? Like before you were trans, were you always trans? And you know that's what makes it confusing. And so it's like, how do you know you're trans if? you before didn't even know what it was or didn't even identify as that shit so that's what people are saying is very new but that's not what we're dealing with you get what i'm saying and i think that's what a person does when they switch that's when her mind switched and it wasn't more it wasn't like just uh these feelings that are that you're aware of now you want to interact with those feelings the only way she can interact with those feelings is becoming the female and so that's why people cross dress and become transvestites and so she basically became a transvestite in that thought process right there because it let her know that oh i'm the woman now most men don't think about becoming a woman. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, yeah, but actually, we all do. We just don't act on it. You know? We do. Most men do think about that shit, but they, like I said, it's dormant because we're taught and raised to be men. So we don't sit here and actually like go further to that shit. I mean, they make movies about this shit all the time. People switch bodies. I just watched the Disney Channel movie. I heard what it was called in this shit. Called, but like, you get what I'm saying? Uh, it was on YouTube too. At, you know, at that, you know, for free. Um, where they switch bodies, you know? And I love those movies because, you know, for like a gender fluid person, that would be a really good movie to watch. You know what I'm saying? Movies to watch is like those movies where people switch, switch bodies specifically a female or a male, you know? Or a movie where a guy dresses up as a girl, you know, in disguise as himself or vice versa. Like those are great trans movies, you know what I'm saying? Um, because they're transvestites, you know, in so many words, at least the cross dressing ones. So, you know, when it comes down to it, it's like you kind of see like, that's where your mind switched because I used to think that same way but now obviously I don't you know she transitioned further I didn't why because I didn't graduate from college I don't have a good job I ain't shit you know what I'm saying um she more or less you know what I'm saying uh obviously she said she goes in further and says that she didn't go you know a lot of trans people don't end up working at the jobs they had before and all that shit but still though they're still good because they've built enough money as a man to live off of and to utilize so that's always good you know but yeah, I mean that's that's pretty much what she's dealing with. She that was, that was the cognitive dissonance, and that's showed signs of AGP. But is she attracted to women? Like, is that her sexual orientation? I don't think that's the case because once you become, once you realize that, really, the gender and sexuality have nothing to do with each other. In that respects, you understand like, okay, now that she, you know what I'm saying, who she actually wants to have sex with, now it could be different because if you can go from cisgendered to transgendered. That means you can literally go from straight to whatever other sexuality. Because you're dealing with real time. It doesn't matter what sparked it or what's going on, or what was the initial thing. You get what I'm saying? You might have motherfucking watching some porn and shit. They had a burger in the background. You got hungry. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't mean like, you know what I mean? Oh, every time you eat, you got to fucking fuck. It just means every, you know what I'm saying? You just saw that shit and it reminded you some shit. You know what I'm saying? And so that's what this is going on right now with her and shit. Like, so all those, so that's what it was. It's almost like a typical case. And why is it a typical case? Because. If something is typical, that means it's a part of the plan. But if they, if most people, right, are brought raised in this, that means they didn't come up with the plan. That means it's a cultural thing. It has nothing to do with individuals. We're just going through what society, in so many words, or the culture has put us put us through. So we have to deal with that shit. You know what I'm saying? And so that's why I feel also transgenderism is what it is, to where it is right now with the surgeries and the hormones and all that type of shit is because of the technology and the sciences. Is because you need a conventional way of coping with the fact that you're a male who likes to be feminine in a society where they tell males to be men and women to be feminine you know what i'm saying and men to be masculine and so you that's why i think the, the big cognitive dissociation is but but it's true though you can't walk into society and be a man and then people are gonna treat you like a woman period that's just facts you gotta look the part you gotta look the part you can't be respected for your femininity you know like you might see some shit have to do with womanhood right let's say you're on a metro bus or you're on a fucking subway Y'all, something happens, right? You know what I mean? You, you can give your two cents. Well, as a woman, da 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 da, da, da And people might respect that shit. Now, but if they find you trans, they're not going to respect that shit. Because they're thinking you're a man. You know? You're just saying that shit. You know, you've never lived it. And so that's what the situation is. 